Hello Gemini, welcome to your bonus love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Gemini, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see, what do we have for you, Gemini? What do we have for you? What do we have for Gemini? Okay. So Gemini, Gemini, um, December, January, February might be quite important for this connection you, you might you might have met this person during those months in the past or those months are of significance for you okay so please take it how it resonates but we are connecting in this reading today for you with someone who might have ghosted you or they essentially they have gone cold on you or silent on you you know something like this this person might have ghosted you when it comes to your energy, Gemini, we have a fire sign. So you might be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but this is energy of Ace of Wands. I feel that um, you are very attracted to this person. You are quite passionate about this connection. And I feel that you do, there is, for some of you, I feel that you would like to take action in order to, to understand and to gain clarity why, why, why this person treated this connection that way and why they suddenly, because I feel it happened suddenly, they have gone silent on you. Mutual energy, we have regret, sadness, past actions, karma. Interesting. Well, I feel that this person has regrets uh, and when, when it comes to you, I feel that there are moments that you might feel a little bit frustrated about this whole situation and you might have regrets even meeting this person, you know. But there is something that has to be worked through regarding this connection. We have overall energy triggered. This person, you know, it might be a case that they get very easily triggered. Yeah, and that creating that kind of toxic energy. I feel that you're dealing here with someone who can be quite, quite codependent, quite controlling. They have unhealthy habits. And we have karmic again and karma here. Something here indeed has to be worked through. Uh, for some of you, it might be a case that this person needs to do some healing. They need to work on themselves. Or they need to kind of look around and realize that there are certain aspects of their life that no longer serves a purpose for them. Um, and they need to essentially change it. This person needs to start making healthy choices. And I feel it is with regards to people that they are kind of uh, surrounded by, if I can say it that way. Because this person might be enter entertaining, let's say it that way karmic situations and karmic people and that is just creating more of that energy that needs to um, be healed essentially for some of you you might have met this person during and it might kind of sound very odd but maybe while you were hiking or it's like uh, I, I see camping here um, maybe when you went for a walk you met this person or uh, this is something that both of you like very much, you know, environment, spending time outside. Uh, you might be very much connected to the nature, right? You, Both of you might like, you know, hiking or walking. There is something here about, uh, yeah, nature, essentially, forest. But this is, you know, this is, the, it is about the sense of direction at the end of the day. And I feel here that at some point this person 
it's like they lost the sense of direction when it comes to when it comes to this connection that's why they started projecting that toxic energy because it was different at the beginning we have true love here divine union strong soulmate energy we have well let's see let's see gemini let's see because that's really interesting and i feel with this energy this person might create a tower moment as well but let's see could you please show me four of cups yeah dissatisfaction disappointment i feel they created that sort of energy nine of cups four of cups with the nine of cups can represent someone who acted in a very selfish manner and they didn't take into account how their actions would impact it, this connection could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Gemini Three of Pentacles, the Hanged Man, Ace of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, mm -hmm, Two of Swords, Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, oh gosh, and the Two of Pentacles. We have Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands. This is someone who created Chaser Runner dynamic within this connection. One, once they were Chaser and then they became a Runner they can get very easily triggered so um indeed you might be dealing with pisces we have cancerian energy so far in this reading for you this is someone who refused uh, to be a team player at some point three of pentacles it's that energy of you know collaboration people working together because they have a common goal and they have that sense of direction they know that they should go that way together in order to achieve that desired result and this is all about um you know compromise really and i feel this person stopped you know metaphorically saying that collaboration they've stopped compromising uh and they've stopped being a team player because we have the hanged man they've changed perspective here this is also a very passive energy so it's like essentially there was a pause of that situation and i feel that with the hanged man this person indeed they've ghosted you now we have an ace of cups with the page of pentacles so it feels like this person here wants to come forward with an offer of affection and peace page it's like they are reminiscing about this connection for some of you this person is looking a lot uh, a lot at a uh, kind of um communication that they had with you um like messages maybe even your photos knight of wands two of swords this is someone who wants to rush in and they want to approach you they want to send you a message but it's like at the moment they are at the crossroads with the two of swords and it's essentially you know double-edged sword situation should i or should i not approach gemini now because this person this person really wants to do that night but knight of wands it's a very inconsistent energy very in and out very hot and cold when they are interested in you, you will get their, you will get their all attention. But they can get very easily distracted, and this energy brings so much inconsistency. Two of Swords, Five of Swords, Knight of Swords, Two of Pentacles. I feel this person. You you might be dealing here with someone who is quite moody. They changing. 
uh, they have like a changeable moods or their moods are changing very often once for instance one day they are very happy or and next let's say okay let's say it's a normal day this person is very happy and something triggered them and they're completely changing their mood and they it's like they are unapproachable they don't want to talk they are acting like a brat that sort of kind of energy i'm getting here but i feel that this person was juggling you with another situation Also, you didn't kill with someone who speaks before they think, and it didn't help the situation. Five of Swords manipulation, mind games. That's why they have this dilemma. Should I approach Gemini now, or should I wait? Because this person is aware, you know, that they handle the situation in, not, in a not particularly fabulous way. It feels here that they've played mind games. They were manipulative. They were not 100% fair towards you and this connection let's see your energy gemini could you please show me gemini's gemini's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection please gemini gemini mm -hmm. they've created a tower moment there we have it that lightning you might be dealing with aries we have scorpio Something here happened unexpect unexpectedly and I feel it created a huge change, huge change. Page of Swords, Curiosity. Let's see, could you please show me Gemini's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please? Let's see, Gemini. Nine of Cups. Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, that energy of regret. Three of Wands, the Fool, and the Empress. Overall energy for your part of the reading, we have Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. For some of you, you might feel like this person played you, essentially. And I do feel that attraction is still there. And I do feel that indeed you have moments when you want to approach this person. You want to know why they've acted that way. Because with the Nine of Cups, it feels like this person was everything what you wished for. But next to this beautiful card, wish card, which is a Nine of Cups, we have a Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups. A big regret that thinks ended between the two of you and ten of swords indicates here that um, this person's behavior brought that kind of feeling of betrayal it feels like this person betrayed your trust there was an ending and i feel that you had expectations uh, not you know like unrealistic expectations but i feel that you kind of saw future with this person you had high high hopes i would say and we have now this five of cups which is i feel that it might be a case that at the moment you are kind of grieving this connection you are obviously quite saddened with regards to what happened between the two of you and i feel that there are moments when you essentially regret meeting them we have three of wands and the four with the Empress. Yeah, there is something here about, you know, looking at this whole situation. I feel that at the end of the day, you, you kind of saw expansion and growth with this person indeed. They were like a breath of a fresh air with the Fool. The Empress with the Fool can represent like a single parent as well, you know, a combination of cards. You might be a single parent for some of you, Gemini, but I'm going to be honest with you. I feel that for a lot of you, I feel that deeply inside, I 
I feel that there is a space uh, for possibility to for for a possibility of giving this person another chance. I feel that there is, uh, you know. If this person was able to approach you in the right way, I'm seeing you. For some of you, I'm seeing indeed that you might con you might consider giving this person a chance and having a beginning with them. Expansion and growth. You know, Empress, you might be divine feminine, or you are dealing with divine feminine. But this is your energy. Where is the emperor here? You are very high vibrational. That's the thing. And again, you are not chasing, you are attracting. I feel that overall you're refusing to take action because of what happened between the two of you and you are quite, not quite, you are very classy. But I feel that there is indeed an element that if this person is able to come forward with the, in the right way, you would consider giving them another chance. We have a Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. You are very selective with your energy regarding this whole situation. Knight of Pentacles, I'm seeing you being very patient regarding this whole situation. Seven of Swords. It doesn't change the fact that you see this person as someone who's been very sneaky, two-faced, not fully transparent, And they betrayed your trust, essentially. Secrets, lies might be involved in that situation. Let's see the outcome, Gemini. Let's see the outcome. Could you please show me the outcome? Please show me the outcome. Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and Six of Wands. Now we have the Emperor as a mutual energy. And then we have the Moon, the World, and Five of Pentacles. The Hermit judgment and the sun as an overall energy for this reading so i can tell you straight away here gemini that this person that this connection will be given a chance will be given a chance it feels here that this person will want um, a resurrect with the judgment this connection you might be dealing with Virgo, we have Aries, we have Scorpio, we have Leo, um, Aquarius, Taurus, yeah, more Pisces, Cancerian energies here as well. Cross watches the rose can be reverse. So we have Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Well, it feels here that this person is still invested emotionally in this connection and you. Six of Wands uh, suggests that there is something here about wanting, there's something here about them wanting your attention um, and also being victorious regarding this whole situation. Whatever that might mean. What is the Six of Wands, Four of Cups? Ah, uh, reconciliation. That's what it is. Thank you, Spirit. Because the thing is here, and it might be a case. For instance, if this person is presenting themselves that everything is great, with the Six of Wands, they're getting lots of attention, they're having a great time, they are just very lucky, it's a facade. The reality is that they are in a Four of Cups energy. They are missing you, they are unhappy, they are not having a great time and they are reminiscing they are reminiscing six of cups they are reminiscing about the past because that's an energy of the past but this person overall wants reconciliation six of cups and that's that's why that's what it's four of cups with the six of cups 
the six of wands is clarified by the four of cups and the six of cups i do apologize <laughs> for my broken english so they that they, they that's the thing they they will tr try to re reconnect with you because they do want to resurrect this connection they missing your energy the sun they are missing they are very lonely and they might be surrounded by the crowd of people but they are very lonely with the hermit mm -hmm. you might be dealing with divine masculine or you are divine masculine please take it how it resonates mutual energy the thing is here that both of you it feels like both of you want stability stable connection long-term relationship and it's like a common goal but things just at this time things didn't work out but it's not over that's the thing it will be over when you say so Gemini but it's not over for this person no not at all we have the moon the world and five of pentacles yeah i feel that you know you are come this is also your energy that you are coming into this outcome and the final cards i feel that in order for the situation to change this person here needs to come with clarity i feel that the moon with the world it's like ending of confusion and doubt and just i feel that you want to know the truth you want to know what's going on you want to know the reasons why this 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 and the and this happened five of pentacles and also i feel that you want this person to acknowledge that they left you out in a cold with no understanding and just overnight things just change so drastically then i feel that you might consider it, it depends on what they're going to tell you because for some of you even if this person will attempt you know to reconnect with you and the reasons they might give you why they've acted in a certain way for some of you it might be a case that it won't be enough or like good enough and you might say well you're still not answering to my uh, to my questions or you are a little bit you know wishy-washy here with your answers and for some of you, you might decide to kind of walk away walk to, uh, you might decide to walk away but but what i am seeing here that it will depend on you gemini you will have a final say but this is someone here who really needs to give you a good explanation because this is i feel quite crucial that five of pentacles energy it's like they made you feel that you are not good enough L yeah they left you out in the cold there is something here about feeling being unwanted by this person and that's not okay and this is like a very very significant important uh, feeling that needs to be explained and addressed and this person needs to explain why they've acted that way if they are able to give you an explanation then i feel that yes you, for some of you you might be open to give this person another chance open to a possibility to giving this person another chance they think here that your final card is the sun and the sun it's a very very positive energy so you will have your moment of, of personal satisfaction and again this connection will be given a chance uh, will be given a chance so if this person hasn't been in touch with you expect them uh, to to approach you. it might not happen immediately but this is not over not for them because they are at the moment it feels like they are reminiscing about the past they are thinking a lot about you they want to come forward with an offer of affection and peace and they want this reconciliation and they want to be successful in their undertakings so i feel that this person will come here with initiative and they will do a lot to change the circumstances between the two of you but the final say is yours 
you'll have a final say here, Gemini. Gemini, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Gemini, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.